Google and Tesla are two of the most highly watched and followed stocks, and they just came out with earnings. What do earnings mean for stocks? Volatility. And if the CEO comes out and guides lower for next quarter, then everybody panics and thinks sales are going to be so much lower. But isn't that the game? They want to beat earnings next time. So why not guide lower? So in this video, I'm going to review Google and Tesla Q2 earnings. I'm going to explain why now is the best time to put on a safe and profitable trade. I'll show you exactly how to do it on the option trading platform and collect easy money using a small amount of capital and options. If you appreciate the time and effort that goes into making these videos, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research. And if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. Be sure and download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. There's also a paid course if you want to dig into the options a little bit deeper. Use the link below and open an account with Moomoo. You can get 8.1% on uninvested cash and up to 15 free stocks. You also get the free charting software. It's a zero commission online platform brokerage. All right, guys, let's take a look at uh, Google, which is Alphabet. Um, here's an article uh, on Yahoo Finance. Alphabet earnings top estimates as cloud business gains steam, AI losses grow. And they talk about for the quarter, the company saw earnings per share of $1.89 on revenue of $84.7 billion. Analysts were anticipating earnings per share of $185 on revenue of $84.3 billion, according to data from Bloomberg. That's a jump from the same period last year of 31% and 14%. So advertising revenue topped $64.6 billion versus the expectations of $64.5. And that's good because advertising revenue had been down. However, we had uh, YouTube revenue, ad revenue that fell short. And it brought in 8.66 billion versus 8.95 billion expected. So not too much lower, just slightly lower. And that's going to pick up. That's just the economy. Google saw cloud revenue of 10.35 billion and operating income of 1.17 billion. That's better than expectations of 10.1 billion and 982 million and higher than the 8 billion in revenue and, and 395 million in operating income in Q2 of last year. So they're doing well, guys. Uh, in the second quarter, Alphabet reported spending of $2.2 billion, building AI models across DeepMind and Google Research. So they're investing in AI. That's up from 1.1 billion. So they doubled it from last year's spend. While it is spending on AI, they've also reported having less employees, down from 181,000, they're at 179,000, so they cut, they cut a couple of thousand employees. So Alphabet is a great stock uh, and company. As far as Tesla, they missed expectations. They reported earnings of 52 cents per share on revenue of 25.5 billion for the second quarter. The consensus, consensus earnings estimate was 59 cents, so what, seven cents lower on revenue of 24.97 billion. So just slightly lower. And here's an article uh, that is also on Yahoo Finance. And it basically is talking about is Tesla still the best AI stock after the quarterly earnings results? And they plunged, so they're down today. We'll take a look on the option trading platform. But Kathy Wood recently set a huge target price. And, you know, she does some outstanding uh, things that uh, kind of are shocking. But she believes that the upside potential in the robo taxi, which now has been delayed, but it is going to be coming. Uh, she said that that's just going to be huge. And Tesla has other businesses as well. Besides being the dom dominant leader in uh, EVs, they also have battery and different technologies that uh, are going to be huge as well. And, you know, one thing I'll never do is, you know, doubt Elon Musk. He's uh, a genius and uh, I'm not going to bet against him in the long term. Uh, however, many people believe Tesla won't be able to live up to the hype around the robo taxis. So I think that's due to the delay. The target price for the cars is $150,000 to $200,000. So they are expensive 
and you would need about 35 billion to develop a global fleet. But um, you know, Musk does have a lot of money. Money. Uh, their latest quarterly results were also weak, showing the effects of pricing headwinds. Elon Musk said during the latest earnings call that substantial discounts from Tesla competitors weighed on the results. So maybe some of the Chinese suppliers. But again, it looks like Trump is in the lead. I'm not sure, you know, who's going to win. But uh, I think the market is taking into account that he will be our next president. He's got a good relationship with Musk, um, but they do believe that, you know, EVs. It, I mean, he's also all for investing in gas powered cars as well. So um, while he called these effects short term, analysts, analysts believe the continued rise in low cost EVs from Tesla competitors will be a problem for the company. However, Tesla has so much uh, buying power and <clears throat> they're so far ahead of the game to the other companies in the US. Companies like Rivian, uh, Ford, GM, they're all way beyond, behind on the uh, EV manufacturing cost. So it's costing them much more than it does Tesla. So Tesla does have the lead. And again, uh, Trump is going to bring manufacturing back here. So he's gonna put tariffs on the, uh, the EVs that are coming from China. So I see nothing but good news ahead for Tesla. Uh, Weaker than expected auto revenues were partly driven by reduced average selling price, which was down 15% year over year. All right, so let's jump into the a couple of trades that I am going to do. So for Google, we punch in Google, G-O-O-G-L, and that's alphabet. I'm gonna look up, <clears throat> usually at around 20 days, I start to look to roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the regular option chain with September, which is 58 days to expiration. And my favorite trade for Google, since it's a high price, you know, fairly high price stock, $175. So that's set, uh, for a hundred shares, one option contract to control 100 shares is 175 times 100 is $17,500. So rather than do that, let's look at the 170, which is the 35 Delta option. We're going to click on the bid to sell that option. I always like selling options versus buying. And then we're going to buy the 160 option. It, it has a <clears throat> credit of $2.57, which is $257. Now, if we go to the curve mode, we can see that we are profitable all the way down to the... Uh, Actually, the 170, we get max profit of the 255, but we're break even at about 167, and the stock is at 175. So even though it's already down huge today, um, let's see, Google is down 3.5% today on this earnings release. So for me, that tells, you know, the, the stock's on sale. <clears throat> if we look at the one-year chart, look at this drop right here. Boom. That's a sale. That's like my wife going to uh, Nordstrom's. So I love this. If we look at the fundamentals, the financials, look at the revenue net income increasing every, every single year. And then if we look at the balance sheet, uh, we've got assets and liabilities increasing every single year. Um, all these analysts have a buy rating on Google. And I know that my target price is 200. 200 to 225 it's at 175 today so we're going to go ahead sell that 170 buy the 160 collect 255 dollars i'm going to go ahead and you see that it's got a 67 percent probability of profit 68 percent so that's because it can move down as well but all we need is is it to stay where it's at or increase in price and we collect 255 dollars up front and we keep it all in the next 58 days as long as it stays in that range. So we're gonna hit review and send and place the trade. Didn't fill, so I'm gonna to go to working, replace the order. I'm gonna bring it down just a little so that we get filled. 252, we got filled at 253. So that's what I like about Tasty Trade. It actually fills it at a better price if it can. So I've got links down below for both Tasty Trade which is a great option trading platform and Moomoo. So let's go ahead now and uh, look at Tesla. ESLA is the ticker and we see it's down huge as well today. Uh, 
Tesla is down 28 points, down to 217. And you see this huge drop down. So it's, it's right here. The red is the 200-day moving average. We're right at that. That's when I love to buy and go long. <clears throat> but I'm going to do it again with a put credit spread because to buy 100 shares of stock, it would be $217 times 100 is $21,760. I'd rather make money using a put credit spread. So uh, actually on the platform, one thing you can do, you can go short, put, vertical, go. It auto automatically puts it on for you, but then you can adjust your prices. But let's uh, clear that. Let's go to the table mode. And we are going to look again at that September 2058 days. I'm going to go down to the 200 and 190. We can collect 288. I'm actually going to go 205, 195, 335. Here we're collecting. So 333, $3.33 would be one third the width of the $10 strikes. That's about where I want to be. We've still got a 62% probability of profit. We can increase that if we go back even further. We could do the 200, 190, and have a 66% and collect 290. You know what? Just to be safe, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go the 200. We'll look at the chart. So that allows us to go all the way down here and look at that support down at the, you know, in this range at that level. It's huge. So huge uh, chance for us to make that profit. 288. Let's look real quick at the financials. Again, just like uh, Google Alphabet, every uh, year revenue is increasing, net in income is increasing, and the balance sheet is pristine as well. So again, I think this is a sale uh, curve mode analysis. You can see right here, we're profitable all the way down to 197. And the stock is at 218 right now, and it's already dropped huge. So let's go ahead and uh, place that trade. Let's see if we can get filled at 280. This is the 200, 190. Not quite. Got to tick it down. We'll probably make uh, 275, but that's okay. There we go. Filled at 278. All right, I put a link down below for the free options workshop. Be sure and grab that. Join Mumu, get your free stocks. Be sure and hit like and subscribe. Let's get this video out to as many people as possible. Leave a comment, ask a question. I answer everyone. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.